The musculoskeletal system consists of bones, muscles, ligaments and tendons. Together they support the body, protecting internal organs, allowing movement, storing minerals, producing blood cells and producing heat. A fracture is a broken or cracked bone. The cause can be a direct force, for example a heavy object falling onto the foot, or indirect force, such as falling with an outstretched arm, which may cause a fractured collarbone. There are three types of fractures. Closed, where the skin remains intact. Open, where a bone penetrates the skin or a wound leads to the fracture below and complicated, where damage is caused to another structure or organ, resulting in bleeding, damage to surrounding tissues and blood vessels, pain and shock. A fracture may be suspected if, in addition to pain, swelling and tenderness, there is a snap or crack heard or felt, a loss of function or difficulty in moving the affected part, and deformities such as abnormal twisting or shortening of the limb. When treating a suspected fracture, you should immobilise, support and, if possible, elevate the injured part. However, elevation may not be possible for a leg fracture. The purpose of these actions is to ease pain, rest the part and prevent further injury. The first aider may use their hands, clothing, cushions, splints or slings to achieve this. Minimising movement should be the priority. A dislocation is where a bone is displaced out of its position at the joint. A first aider should not attempt to manipulate a dislocation back into place as further damage could be caused. A dislocation should be supported in a position of comfort and an ice pack applied around the injured joint. Elevate if possible. Soft tissue injuries include bruising, sprains and strains. Bruising is bleeding into the surrounding tissues, which will characteristically be purple. Over time, it will fade to green and finally yellow. Sprain is overstretching or tearing of a ligament, which supports a joint. Strain is overstretching or tearing of a muscle and or tendon. Rice is used as a memory prompt to treat all soft tissue injuries. Firstly, rest to reduce pain and bleeding ice to minimise swelling and ease the pain, compression to reduce swelling and bleeding, and elevation to assist drainage and control the swelling. Soft tissue injuries will require at least 48 hours of rice. <laughs>